Let's go to Indonesia now. The capital Jakarta is home to 10 million people, but it's also one of the fastest sinking cities in the world. If this goes unchecked, parts of it could be entirely submerged by 2050, according to researchers from the Bandung Institute of Technology. For, well, for more on this, let's speak to Navin Singh Kadka, environment correspondent for the BBC World Service. Uh, Navin, good to see you. I mean, this is incredibly worrying that um, a city like Indone uh, Jakarta uh, could actually sub be submerged by 2050. You're right. So we call it, we can call it treble treble. So what's happened is the Java Sea, sea level rise, what we normally know, is going up and they built walls. But what's happened in the meantime is the groundwater extraction, it's so, so, so massive. So when you extract groundwater unsustainably, the land goes down, subsidence, that's what's called. So two troubles, sea level rise, land subsidence, land sinking. And the third one is the wetlands, mangroves, that are the net natural safeguards against these natural disasters, floods, all vanished because of infrastructure, buildings, highways, flyovers, whatnot, expanding city, and therefore, this is what we're talking about. It's a hugely overpopulated uh, city, Jakarta. I mean, I've spent hours and hours in traffic uh, whenever I've gone. I mean, this could be hugely problematic because it's ever growing. Yes, it is. So what's happened is because the city has grown, fine. Infrastructure grown, fine. But what's happening is more than 60% of the residents are still relying on that crown water. Okay, so the governance issue is huge here. Why is this place not getting piped water? That's the question. And because so many people are extracting this, and it's, it's a no-brainer, you see, when you extract groundwater unsustainably, it happens in so many places, Mexico, Tokyo, Venice, the place I come from, Kathmandu, for instance, or Bangkok, you know, all these places have seen this. But the real question is, will they be able to address this? Will they be, you know, able to pipe water so that people stop extracting the groundwater and the land goes down and not to forget 13 rivers are meandering in this Absolutely place so what happens is constantly flooded yeah and then what happens if your land is down the river is up okay and the river comes out it bursts the banks and then there it is and not to forget java sea as elsewhere coming up sea level rise going up so what exactly are the authorities doing about this i mean if these warnings are coming they are talking about the, 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 the policing, the, the, the regulation, regulating of, of, of groundwater extraction, but that has been going for ages now. And, and, and implementation has been a massive challenge. And therefore, unless you really plug that gap, unless you really start piping, unless you build that infrastructure, this is going to be a huge issue. So therefore, if you list these reasons, groundwater extraction is number one. The same thing happened in Japan, in Tokyo, in 1950s. But what they quickly did was, they did two things. Built a wall, and then there was strict policies about extraction. So a few years down the line, things start moving, improving, and now they don't have the issue. Same in Venice. Mm. But then in other places, Mexico or Bangkok, or Chennai in India. What happened in Chennai? We reported that. Mm. The same story in Chennai. All infrastructure, wetlands gone, whatever natural safeguards you had, all gone. Coastal cities in deep, deep trouble now, deep waters. Naveen, thanks so much for that update. And of course, you can get more news about Jakarta, the world's fastest sinking city, by visiting our website. Just go to bbc.com forward slash news and follow the links to our Asia page.